guys so I do this uh, long run um, I would say four weeks before the race and the obvious reason for this is of course this is a really really hard long run like hard workout so yeah I, I need to put like a really big recovery time for this because yeah of course 23 miles at close to marathon effort that's pretty much like running an entire marathon so this is actually part of my like three marathon specific long runs so before this I do 18 and then 20 and then this is the last like the 23 miles and the reason for this is like I don't want to jump all the way to 23 miles you know because it's yeah it's it's not very safe to do this um, of course like the previous like weeks like I would say like the first four weeks of this build up it's like I'm running between I would say like 10 to I would say 15 maybe to 18 miles but those are not very specific like long runs you know like it's that's why I need to do like this like I need to progress the distance because this is gonna be a really hard effort long run so yeah the the goal is the same effort wise um, I, I run this like uh, close to marathon pace and I always put like 30 seconds per mile slower than my marathon pace so yeah like for example like last year my goal was sub 3 so 720 650 that's the go like that's the pace that I need to run yeah I do this like three consecutive weeks until I reach this you know 23 miles so the first benefit of this workout is of course the distance um, 23 miles that is pretty much like the entire marathon distance and I really do this one because this is I would say more like psychological that I've actually run the distance in my training I've run already like 16 marathons in my life and I know that the marathon does not really start at mile 20 I need to cross the 20 miles for me to know what I'm gonna feel after that you can feel good from 5k all the way to mile 20 but it's that's, that's not really like the start of the marathon there it starts from mile 20 up so yeah that's why I need to cross that mile 20 because for me I need to know that if I can really if I feel good or I, I can push the pace and stuff like that that's why I really need to cross that mile 20 that's why I go 23 so 30 seconds per mile of course it's not you know like the marathon pace but before I do this workout I've run already like a lot of like workouts and like I mentioned like I've done also like some big long runs before this so my legs are not really totally tapered I do take like one one day rest before doing this workout or sometimes I actually even do like two. It really depends how I feel before this workout. Um, but that's just really for me to to feel a little bit better doing this workout because this is really hard. But like I said, um, I'm not totally tapered when I do this workout. So it's that the challenge of that kind of like fatigue, legs, um, a little bit exhausted from all of the workouts. And I really need that before this one because in the marathon you really have to get used to that kind of fatigue legs 
when you're running some of these workouts it's because that's part of the marathon and yeah it's something that you cannot avoid but you just need to like get used to it so like i said 30 seconds per mile is not the marathon pace but like i said when you're not tapered and you're a little bit exhausted from all of these workouts it really feels like a marathon pace so i am really getting the benefit of these two things but in a safer way because yeah like 30 seconds per mile it's like i'm not giving my 100 percent here and then also the, the other thing is like i really practice my nutrition here my fluids like all of that kind of stuff so yeah i i make this really simple when i do this one i just put like be honest as far as i remember like every 30 seconds i take like my electrolyte drink and then i think every like hour i take my gels the only reason why i say like i i take like my gel every hour because like the gels that i use when i did actually last time i i did this it's a little too big but on the race day i changed a little bit like my strategy when taking my gels because it was a little bit smaller so i just readjust the you know the the timing of that one it is really tough to do this workout um the first couple times that i've done this i did not actually hit my goal but the last couple times that i've done this i was able to hit you know my goal it is really tough like i said this is a really really tough workout but i can tell you guys that after i do this workout i just feel so good and it's almost like I can breathe that I'm finally done with this and actually I still do one big long run after this but it's not as long as this one I do another one that's like 15 miles at marathon effort pace and that workout is just really to kind of seal you know my my training block so this is all for today guys thank you again so much for being here today I'll see you guys in the next vlog